Good evening, I'm Shogun Mohammed and this is the 7 o'clock news. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued four decisions for the present year of 2019. Decision 8 appoints a Deputy General Director and Directors of the Ministry of Interior. Article 1 appoints Colonel Ra'id Ali Al-Mali as Deputy General Director of the Ministry of Interior. Article 2 appoints the following as Directors at the Ministry of Interior. Lieutenant Rashid Yahya Al-Baqir, Lieutenant Muhammad Ali Al-Naimi, Lieutenant Muhammad Salim Al-Rumihi, Lieutenant Naif Majid Al-Majid, Major Salman Ibrahim Jbara Al-Bufalah, Major Muhammad Ali Sheikh, Major Abdullah Sabah al dosiri Major Fawaz Abdul Hamid Al Amadi, Article 3 states that the Ministry of Interior is tasked with placing the appointed individuals into the structure of the ministry. Article 1 of Decision 9 appoints Hamad Ahmed Buhidji as Director of Financial Affairs at the Customs of Affairs Bureau. Article 1 of Decision 10 transfers the Southern Governorate's Human Resources Department, Khulud Abdullah Khalifa Hamada, to the General Coordination Bureau of the Municipalities. Article 1 of Decision 11 appoints Mohammed Zaid Abdullah Zayed as Director of Social Programs and Social Affairs in the Northern Governorates. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today met with the Deputy Commander of the United States Central Command, Lieutenant General Thomas W. Bergeson at Ghaibiya Palace. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince noted the long-standing partnership between Bahrain and the U.S., stressing the importance of continuing to build on bilateral ties to advance shared strategic interests and regional stability. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince welcomed the visit of the Deputy Commander along with his accompanying delegation to Bahrain and recognized the central role the U.S. plays in upholding global peace and security. The meeting was also attended by the Bahrain Defense Force Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagar al naimi His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday held his weekly majlis at Rafa Palace. Members of the Royal Family, senior government officials, members of the Shura Council and Council of Representatives, members of municipal councils, religious and community leaders, journalists and diplomats attended the majlis. His Royal Highness welcomed the broad range of visitors at the weekly majlis, which demonstrates Bahrain's commitment to rooted traditions and values that are underpinned by His Majesty's aspirations to maintain a strong bond against Bahrain society. The majlis visitors extended their appreciation and gratitude to His Royal Highness for hosting the majlis and emphasized the role His Royal Highness plays in advancing sustainable development to guarantee prosperity and opportunity for the people of Bahrain.
The Royal Guard Commander, His Highness Major General Sheikh Nasr bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today at his office at the Royal Guard Command the Deputy Commander of the United States Central Command, Lieutenant General Thomas W. Bergeson, and his accompanying delegation. His Highness Sheikh Nasr discussed with the guests the means of bolstering joint military cooperation, hailing the deep rooted and historic relations between Bahrain and the United States in all fields, and the development they witness on all levels. His Highness the President of the National Guard, General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, patronized the military marathon and pistol and rifle shooting contest conclusion ceremony at the National Guard's firing range complex in Isqir camp in the presence of the Director of Staff, Major General Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Saud Al Khalifa. His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed, accompanied with Staff Director, was greeted upon his arrival by senior officers, unit commanders, and departmental heads. In conclusion, His Highness, the President of the Royal National Guard, delivered the championship cups and medals to the first two winners. His Highness praised the importance the National Guard attaches to sports and to organizing competitions to boost the physical stamina and fitness and promote the spirit of competitiveness and collective work among the National Guard affiliates. In a celebration held at the National Action Charter Monument, the Ministry of Education launched its official logo, which features a photo of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to mark the 100th anniversary of the formal education in Bahrain. The celebration was attended by the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, along with a number of officials from the ministry, students and other invitees. 
During the event, the minister marked the occasion by congratulating His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The minister said that the occasion highlights the pioneering role that Bahrain has been playing in the field of education, thanks to the leadership, support and assistance over the years. The minister expressed pride in the achievements of the field of education, which he said enjoys regional and international recognition. The minister added that the field of education has been making rapid progress during the reign of His Majesty the King, through a variety of initiatives that are intended to increase investment in education and its ongoing developments. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, delegated the President of the Bahrain Culture and Antiquities Authorities, Sheikh Hamay bint Mohammed Al Khalifa, to inaugurate the Bahrain Arts Across Borders Exhibition, Arts Bob, in its fourth edition at the Bahrain Exhibition and Convention Center. Sheikh Hamay expressed gratitude to Her Royal Highness for her patronage and her encouragement and support to Bahraini artists. She stressed that the initiative of Art Bob opened horizons to Bahraini artists to display their artistic works at theatres and art galleries in the world, in addition to their participation with senior artists from different countries in the exhibition, which is hosted by Bahrain every year. The Director General of the Office of the Wife of His Majesty the King, Sheikh Maram bint Isa Al Khalifa, pointed out that the Kingdom's embrace of such exhibitions is complementary to the national efforts in supporting art. She commended Temkin's support for the Art Bob initiative by organizing an annual exhibition in the Kingdom of March each year. In addition to organizing international art events and participating in the world's most art exhibitions to promote Bahraini artist works. This exhibition gives me a great startup, uh, a great platform to showcase my uh, arts, my creative uh, inspirations. And yes, I think that women uh, have the right uh, to speak about uh, their inspirations, about their visions. And uh, Art Bab, uh, Art Bahrain Across Borders, invites and calls women and men uh, to speak about the arts. And yes, uh, we're very thankful to uh, Her Highness to give us this opportunity. I use only natural fabric fabrics and they're all handmade, hand-woven fabrics. I've been uh, sourcing the inspiration from the culture of Bahrain and all of the pieces as you can see here are presented in the fashion display, these three items. Uh, they are translating the culture, translating those uh, beauties of Bahrain that I found as uh, an outsider. Uh, I'm from Russia and um, a lot of elements are brought in from the Dilmun era, from the prehistoric time. Um, and here we also speak about the Bahrain um, pearl divers and as well as the pottery. Uh, they're all translated into the pieces uh, of the modern fashion wear that you can wear today. And I believe that uh, women will find an interest in this collection. And I hope uh, I'm wishing the success to this show. Well, I'd like to thank Her Highness Sheikha Sabika for creating this platform for us because for me as an emerging artist it's quite hard to enter the market especially in Bahrain where it's always been about fine arts or paintings or things like that so to have this platform it's just quite spectacular honestly because I didn't think I could be a part of this community and I'm really happy to be a part of it right now and I think it, it doesn't really kind of affect the quality of the work it's more about network Working and putting your ideas out there. So there's not really some specific quality that's in the artwork, it's about the ideas. The type of art that I create is digital art and digital illustration. And I believe that it's kind of like a new age type of art and it's emerging and it's really, it's really great that 
um, we are able to use a platform like Artbob to display our work and it's, uh, it makes me really happy to be able to express my artwork through these platforms. My main concept is to focus on the women in my life, as you can see in the paintings, uh, the strength of the women, the way they carry themselves, and that's why I don't choose one material when creating my artwork. I use uh, different kinds of material to come up with the one single piece, or as the pieces you can see, uh, to create a strong character for the women that I'm representing. And this is my second year, and it's one of my favorite exhibits, not just for uh, the amount of exposure it gives, but for the people that come who genuinely love art from all sectors and all fields. The Supreme Council for Women has relaunched the National Guidance Program for Bahraini Women in cooperation and specialized agencies to support the beneficiaries of the Voluntary Retirement Scheme to facilitate their transition from the government sector to entrepreneurship or the private sector. The program aims to sustaining the contribution of women to the national economy. During the meeting, which was held at the Council's headquarters in Rafah in the presence of the strategic partners of this program, the SCW Secretary General Halil Ansari explained that the program is an implementation of one of the decisions of the Council, approved during a meeting that was chaired by Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King, Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, as a response from the Council to support the government's initiative for financial balance. Al Ansari pointed out that some of the mechanisms for implementing this program is the formation of a network of mentors and organizing orientation sessions on the options, opportunities and services available in various economic sectors. The representatives of the competent authorities concerned with the program praised the Council's initiative under the directives of Her Royal Highness.